hello guys if you like my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell icon so that you can get notified for my videos hello everyone you are most welcome again on my channel today is day 44 and we are doing history of english literature and this is restoration is is of dryden we will be talking about the literary characteristics of is and uh, this is very important to know in order to understand the uh, literary is we must know the literary characteristics of the is this is not just about mugging up the uh, works by writers but knowing the things behind those works and what writers are thinking of that time and they are facing the situations so here rise of neoclassicism Imitation of ancients, imitation of French, realism and formalism. There are four characteristics or main characteristics we can call of these days. Restoration is was complete break with past and the writers agreed upon some principles which they should follow. So what neoclassicism is, actually this is about following the rules of or uh, making some ideals to follow some writers they followed rules were drawn from the practice of the writers of the past rules and import uh, literary conventions became more important than the imagination if we will talk about the algebra is we will feel that there or uh, if we talk about the romantic period imagination is or uh, and emotions are important in a uh, in a piece of writing but in this age in the age of dryden you will feel that literary convention and rules are more important that is neoclassicism jab hum neoclassicism ki baat karte hain to hame dekhne ko milta hai ki कोई भी राइटर है वो रूल्स को ज़्यादा फॉलो करने की कोशिश करता है लिटरेरी कन्वेंशंस को ज़्यादा फॉलो करने की कोशिश करता है बजाय कि इमेजिनेशन के सो so, यही न्यू क्लासिसिज्म है तो अगर आपको ये टर्म समझ नहीं आता था आज तक कि न्यू क्लासिसिज्म है क्या तो आप सिंपली समझ सकते हैं कि ये जस्ट रूल्स को ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंस देने देना इमेजिनेशन के बजाय दे फोकस ऑन रूल्स एंड लिटरेरी कन्वेंशंस ओके <clears throat> hopefully you are uh, it is clear for you it was antithesis of algebraan age so antithesis opposite of algebraan age in algebraan age you will see imagination is the main part of works like you will see the works of shakespeare that is uh, you know imagination you will see that is playing important role next thing they did imitations of ancients they imitated latin writers and we must know that they imitated mostly latin writers and french works they directed their attention to slavish imitation of rules and ignored the importance of subject matter which was important in algebraan as imitation of the french दिस इज अगेन इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड इसे थोड़ा सा ध्यान से समझने की कोशिश कीजिए कुछ राइटर्स और हैं चार्ल्स सेकेंड सो एज वी सी इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर द किंग्स प्लेज प्लेड इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर सो हियर चार्ल्स सेकेंड ऑल्सो इन्फ्लुएंस्ड लिटरेचर ऑफ द टाइम because as we know that in uh, you know restoration is charles ii was important and he spent his most of his time in exile in french uh, you know french uh, territory so france mein rehne par unhe aadat pad chuki thi and they were accustomed to the you know new tradition which was actually french tradition of writing so when they returned they, when they came from france they demanded poet and uh, poet and dramatist to write down some with new tradition and new tradition means according to new tradition they wanted to 
राइट द थिंग्स अकॉर्डिंग टू फ्रेंच ट्रेडिशन बिकॉज ही हिमसेल्फ अब आप समझ सकते हैं कि किंग को जरूरत थी फ्रेंच ड्रामाज एंड पोइट्री की सो पीपल फॉलोड दैट ट्रेडिशन फॉर इट वॉज नाउ सी इन पेपेज डायरी विच इज यू नो इम्पोर्टेंट अगेन इन पेपेज डायरी पेपे राइट्स पेपेज राइट्स अबाउट द मिड समर नाइट्स ड्रीम सी दिस वर्क इज फ्रॉम शेक्सपियर सो ही राइट्स दैट फॉर इट इज द मोस्ट इंसिपिड इंसिपिड मीन्स बोरिंग ऑल राइट सो रेडिकुलस प्ले दैट एवर आई सो इन माई लाइफ ही इज राइटिंग द वर्क वर्क बाय शेक्सपियर आई गेटिंग सो वाई ही इज राइटिंग बिकॉज ऑफ फ्रेंच इंफ्लुएंस इटालियन इंफ्लुएंस डोमिनेटेड एल्जेसन सो ही इज यू कैन से कंपेरिजन बिटवीन एल्जेसन एंड रेस्ट्रेशन सो इफ समबडी आस्क यू इटालियन इंफ्लुएंस वॉज डोमिनेटेड एल्जेसन पीरियड एंड फ्रेंच इंफ्लुएंस डोमिनेटेड इन रेस्ट्रेशन and what was the reason behind french influence uh, influence you can clearly see that it was charles second some writers from uh, french traditions were or you can say uh, from france they followed these writers pascal bossu fanelon cornel bolu moller and racin French influence helped in progress of opera. So, in English literature, opera got you know flourished just because of French influence. The last one is realism and formalism. So, in literary uh, characteristics, there came realism. So, realism came from France. so the the french influence brought realism in english literature at that time and uh, realism is important part of modern english writer uh, writing as well so if you want to you know have some knowledge about realism when it started so it is started in age of dryden in age of restoration or uh, in restoration period so they gave realistic pictures of corrupt uh, corrupt court and showed vices and not virtues and uh, this is also a quality of modern english literature as well so if you are watching my video till now so don't forget to thumbs up the video hopefully you understood the whole video and it will help you to understand the restoration works when whenever you will be reading the uh, dryden and other writers of restoration period thank you for watching bye bye take care see you in next week